call the Red Canyon. You die! <laughs> die! Die! You took everything that I loved! brought you here. <sighs> I wonder how you got in here. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. of you before. Who are you anyway? I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. Familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. It is almost time to. Hey, time to wake up. Were you having that dream again? You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. A battle, risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir. Sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. 
We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandits spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Part 1. White Clouds. Great Tree Moon. Three Houses. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you. 
closer. It's true that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle House. I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. Golden Deer House. You're in charge of a different class, right? Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Both students and teachers of the Officers Academy are free to use the facilities within the monastery. For example, you can dine with others at the dining hall, or partake in one-on-one -on -one combat at the training grounds. I encourage you to wander around the monastery and lend an ear to the people living here. There are bulletin boards in various places around the monastery. Have you seen them, Professor? There you can find requests from various sources, as well as information about the market. If you fulfill these requests, you should eventually be able to use even more of the facilities here. The bulletin board gets updated frequently. You would do well to check it once a month. This probably goes without saying, but no matter which facility you use, it will take up a considerable amount of your time. It's helpful to plan out activities in advance, so that you don't mistakenly squander your time here. Professors at the Officers Academy are expected to have exceptional leadership skills. Students and teachers alike must devote themselves to their studies and strive to acquire great wisdom even outside their respective fields. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. I have a request.
Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Um, I, uh, was just heading back to my room. Bye! Professor? Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. The Great Tree Moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. No. My thanks. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. student here myself. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor?
Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. Yes. I'm busy. Do you want something? Then get out of my way. Ugh. I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Professor, if you got spare we could try to pick up these. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Professor! as good as your homemade sweets, Mercy. <laughs> You're too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. I could count on you.
Much appreciated.